everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're just going to do a quick unboxing of a mindful souls it just came in my mail today it was supposed to come in the mail yesterday for some reason it didn't not a big deal so as you can see here is the box okay so then here i'm going to show you that it is completely sealed still i have not opened it yet so i'm going to open it with you guys and we can unbox this together hey guys i'm back i had to, these boxes are kind of hard to open without having something usually i just use my nail but i wasn't i didn't want to break my nail so i'm like whatever let me get a knife but anyway so let's get into this box guys this is mindful souls and here we go here's the pamphlet okay i'm gonna put that over here so these have such nice artwork. Look at this. It's so beautiful. This will go perfect in my room right here with the turquoise and stuff. I love this. So pretty. Put that over there. I can pick and choose what I want to do. It's really nice. That's true, though. You can pick and choose what you want to do. So let's start. I always love their boxes. They come so beautifully packaged. I mean, look at this. It's so nice. They come in these little tiny bags. I save all these bags, guys, because you never know when you can use these bags for something else. Um, so let's start with this little bag here. Okay, let's get in here. Ooh, this is so cute. Okay, it's crazy because I was just going on Amazon and I wanted a moon necklace. And this came right at the exact time I would be wanting something like this. So this is awesome. Look at this up close. Really pretty. I'm wondering what this stone is. Let's go ahead and put this to the side. I won't be looking at the pamphlet until the very end because it's just going to give, it's going to show me everything I got and I kind of want to be surprised. So this necklace we'll go ahead and put right here. Next little baggie. Let's see what this, this one feels like it is going to be a crystal. Wow, guys, I don't know. This is nuts. Remember I showed you that little cat holder that has, you need a tiny, tiny little crystal ball to go on it? Well, I got a really big crystal ball and it was just way too big. But do you see what just came in this box? It's almost like it was meant for me. This is a tiger's eye. This is so beautiful and this is exactly what I needed. And I will show you what I'm talking about later. So wow, I'm excited about this. This is exactly what I wanted. That's so crazy. I'll put that right here. Okay, then third bag, let's see what we got here. It feels like a bracelet. Yes, this is beautiful. Very pretty. Looks like a rose quartz. And what is this? Oh, I don't know. Can you guys tell what that is? Maybe an elephant? Very pretty. I love this. I'll put this to the side. So this is our fourth bag. I don't think there's much more left, guys. Okay, let's see what's in this one. This one feels heavy. And as you can see, the bag is really big compared. Wow, this is really nice. Look at this. This is huge. Okay, here's my palm of my hand. It pretty much almost fits across the whole palm of my hand. Look at the detail. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Really pretty. I'm excited about this box already. Then something's back here. Wow, this is so pretty. So right here, it looks like there's some dried flowers. I'm wondering what those flowers are. They're purple looking. So let's find out one more item. And then we're going to go ahead and look at the pamphlet and see what all this stuff is. And then the rest is just these little worms. This is the last item. Let's check it out. I love the packaging. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Wait till you see this. This is so nice. Look at this. Wow, really, really, really nice. This is probably one of the nicest things I've gotten in all these boxes I've gotten so far. This is beautiful. Okay, let's get right into it. Let me put this stuff right here so you guys can see everything. Okay, guys, so I'm going to look at the pamphlet now and let you know which each product is and, you know, what they're used for. So let's start with the rose quartz bracelet. I was corrected as rose quartz. Um... I'm trying to learn my crystals and I'm trying to just call them out when I see them and then kind of refer back to something and say, okay, was that correct? I mean, that one's pretty easy. So self-care is all about making time to nurture yourself and loving yourself unconditionally. Bless yourself with compassion by connecting to the rose quartz energy of this bracelet. 
Rose Quartz brings the focus to how strong and powerful you are, regardless of what's happening with your body. It begs you to love yourself at every stage. And I also want to say something behind this, guys. I completely agree with this. I mean, at my age, I'm 41 years old. I realized that you have to stop caring what other people think about you and just worrying about what you think about yourself. Um, let's be honest. At some point, uh, we're all going to leave this earth. Make sure you make the best time you have on earth. Be kind and caring to people as best as you can. And, you know, really take care of other people if, if you have, if you have the capacity to do so. Um, in my other video, I did share that I do feed the homeless animals outside. Some people think that's absolutely absurd and insane. Why am I feeding, um, a skunk or why am I feeding homeless cats or opossums that they're dirty? They didn't ask to be on this earth and they didn't ask to be homeless. So if you have, if you can help in any way, just do it. You know, it, it's just, it's good for the soul, right? Okay, back to the to the products. Um, Next is Clear Quartz Energy Generator. Now, this thing is insane, if you ask me. Having an energy generator crystal in your space will help you to clear out negative energies, giving you peace of mind during your daily life. These generators raise the energy from the earth to the sky and bring universal light and knowledge into your space. It's a great tool for meditation, healing, and general um, support. It can also be used to charge other crystals. Clear crystal quartz, or sorry, clear quartz is a master healer crystal, crystal and amplifies the energy of crystals in its place nearby. And I am going to use so much of this. I mean, look at how beautiful this is. So worth it. So next up is Tiger's Eye Sphere. When fear enters our decision-making process, our choices get skewed. To see the path ahead clearly, improve your form. Um, foresight with a tiger's eye sphere and tiger's eye is one of my favorite crystals I mean look at how beautiful this is I love tigers I love cats and it just reminds me of how beautiful they are as well as this crystal so okay guys so the necklace that came in is it's it's this and I don't know how to say that and I don't want to say it wrong so I'm just going to show you what how it how it's said um the crescent moon symbolizes the end of old cycle the start of approaching a new one detach yourself from the world and the rest um it is time to think things over and contemplate the things you should let go, okay? It is a dual action stone known for its positive use of personal power to achieve goals. It clears away confusion, negativity, and stimulates the intellect to expand knowledge and truth. And that's something we all need. You want to get away the negative energy, expand your, your mind and soul and things of that nature. So next up is this moon agate. Look at how pretty this is. I don't know if you're really going to get the gist of how nice this really is. So it is a moss agate carries a strong connection with nature, mending its healing and uh, new nurturing energy to you. It teaches us to appreciate the en and enjoy each moment we have with the earth, helping to set an intention for healing the planet. Is this not what I was just talking about with, um, <laughs> you know, with helping your fellow man or animal or whatever? You know, it just, I feel like that this box was meant for me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. All right. Next up is blue sage lavender. I knew that was lavender, but I, I didn't want to call it. So this is lavender smudge stick. Okay. And it smells really good too. Blue sage has a mild floral aroma. So if you're someone who finds strong smells overwhelming, this one might be new, um, good for you. It is also known to attract prosperity and wealth. So it's an excellent addition to any abundance ritual. But yeah, this is really nice too. I like how they bundled it with the lavender. So I can't wait to use this. So guys, I will be blessing all these items like I always do, and then I'm going to use it. So look at that little sticker too. So cute. Guys, this is a really, really nice box. Tell me what you think about this box. I mean, I recommend out of all the boxes I get, um, this one's probably one of my favorites. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me today to unbox this uh, Mindful Souls box. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know, what was your favorite product here? I personally really love this, and I really love this neck. I mean, I love it all. I can't say I didn't love not one piece of these. Look at this. I might wear this tomorrow. I'll wear this Tuesday when I go to the store. That's what I'll do. So I'll wear this. Hey guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching my channel. If you have any questions, comment below. Or if you have any box suggestions, please let me know as well. Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye. guys, I just want to show you what I was talking about earlier. Do you see this thing here? This came in one of my boxes. So I am going to put the tiger's eye. See how tiny this is? 
see this one here it's huge and I wanted to put it on this it was just way too big so I kept it on the little stand it came in I will show you this with the tiger's eye on it that fits this I swear to you this box was really meant for me everything in this box is really just where I am with life it's beautiful I'm gonna put these in the wall and then they just come like that and you just like click them down hey guys so I put it there and I put it there I had to do that one three times so there's holes in my wall that I have to fix later on but that's what it looks like so on this shelf, I put my little crystal containers on the shelf. And here I put some of my candles and some of my crystals. 